Hi, this is Lane Smith with Troop 298 in Frisco, Texas, and I wanted to just take a minute to show you how to use Scoutlander to stay on top of troop events and to show you how to sign up for troop events um, on the internet. So what we have here is Scoutlander, and for all you new parents, as soon as your application is processed, you should be getting an email with your login credentials and you can just go to the website on that link or you can go to our homepage troop298.org right here and that will redirect you to our main page just enter the credentials that you have okay and you'll be able to log in real quick if you want to remember your password you can just click here that'll just save you a step um, or if you forget your password you can also click this button and a reminder will be sent to your email address. So that's how that works. So once you get your username and password or your email and password, you can enter those and log in. Now, once you log in, you will see all of, this is our main home page. And down here towards the bottom in the private site, we're looking at this left column. Down at the bottom is something called the event calendar. So if we click on that, it'll bring up a calendar of everything on uh, that we're, we're doing. If you look at it real closely, just real quick, you can filter by events, or if you know of a certain event that you want to look up, like a camp out or a meeting in particular, you can type in here uh, to search for it. If you want to jump to, you know, see what happened a year ago, you can come in here and, you know, check 11 uh, September 2011. Records go back pretty far. Um, see what we did. You can also come in here and go to the next month by clicking these arrows. And to the previous no month by doing that, they're kind of lost in there. But that's how you can do that. So this gives you a good look at what's happening in September, for example. You can see the typical calendar um, with the list of items, holidays, uh, district-wide things. Um, but let's say we want to sign up for something like a trailer, like this camp out. Now, obviously, it's Saturday the twenty-second, um, which is a week before the camp out. The deadline for signing up for camp outs is two weeks before. So the troop meeting on the 17th would be the deadline for going to this camp out. But for this example, since it's a Saturday in between, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, sign up for the camp out here. Just remember that the deadline is actually two weeks earlier. So if we wanted to sign up for this camp out, you would come in and simply click on the camp out and it will load. Now here is information about the camp out. Uh, you can see that we have the event type, the organizer, uh, various other information, the date and time, RSVP options. It tells you it'll tell you where it is. If it's not here, it'll be further down on the list or on the page. It'll tell you what the attire is and all that stuff. There's a whole bunch of information on this page. I'm not going to show it to you here because there's also uh, leader phone numbers and personal information. So I'm not going to drag down and show you all of that. But suffice it to say, everything you need to know about this campout is on this page. So what I'm going to do is kind of jump to the end of the page. And you can see here that this is a list of everyone. And this is where you would go to sign up. Now my son has already signed up, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So I would find my son's name and I would click on the response button. And it loads the page over, but it allows me to change his response. So I would select one scout's going, and if I were going, I would come in here and select one adult. Now here's the deal with that. In order for an adult to go on a camp out, they have to be fully trained with Boy Scout Youth Protection, and since we're through St. Francis, you have to also have completed the church's safe environment training. So you have to have both of those at a minimum. If you have those two, you might be able to go with the Scoutmaster's approval. Generally speaking, only the Assistant Scoutmasters are permitted to go on the campouts with the boys. 
and um, any exceptions to that would need to be made by the, the acting scoutmaster. So that's the deal with the adults. But right now, I'm not going to this camp out with the troop. I'm going with a pack. So I can come in here and also just leave a note. Uh, maybe I can drive. Maybe I'm bringing, maybe I'm coming up late. Um, information that you feel might need to be passed on. You can enter in here and just hit save. we wait okay so there now once we've entered that you can see that the scout total will have changed the adult total will have changed and the grand total will have changed up here at the top where the top of the list is you will see a green box that says uh, successful participant information updated now that's just the first step so you've signed up for the event for the camp out online, which is very important. It's a first step. The very next thing you need to do is come in here and download the permission slip. Okay, the permission slip needs to be signed and filled out, well filled out and signed along with payment, and given to brought to that Monday meeting two weeks before. Okay, and here's an example of a permission slip. You basically need to have your scout put his name. Uh, mom or dad, you would need to put in the information for the medical waiver, just, just typical stuff, doctor's name. Down here will be the cost for a scout and an adult, and you have some options. You can put down to deduct the total from the scout account. You can put uh, attached check, you can pay with cash, and we also have PayPal, so you would need to put that in there as well. And then this form would need to be filled out, given to your son, and this, your son would need to then take it to the Monday meeting and turn it in. And that would be the final step for uh, signing up for a camp out. So once you've done all that, you should be good to go uh, on any event. And that includes um, any of the events on the calendar, not just camp outs. It might be boards of review, community service, anything like that. Not everything's going to have a permission slip, but any important documents would be listed here on a Scoutlander as well. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks.